Hey everyone, SoCal Marine. Look at this perfectly organized parts bench of mine. Right. I'm going to try and explain to you guys how the shifting works on the lower units of the Merc Cruiser Drives Alpha. Pull this thing out of here and get it up here. Excuse for the uh, superbly organized situation here. Okay, let's first talk the lower unit. All right, a lot of you guys, you want to do your water pumps, go to put this back up and it's stuck. Now, I'm first going to explain to you, not all lower units on the Alphas are the same, the Gen 1s. The Gen 1s are split into two families. This is a preload pin. It's actually spring-loaded. It's very, very tight. This is not going to interface. This is also an Alpha Gen 1, but this is the later style. That doesn't have the preload pin, right? They're not going to fit. Okay, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, and uh, this applies to Mercury uh, outboards as well. They use the same shifting. Now, um, this is the shifter that goes down into the lower unit. And now there's a plane overhead. I'm just going to wait for it. Fox News. Probably forming some liberal psychos protesting on the highway and stuffing everyone's day up. Right, here we go. Okay. So this little shifter over here, right? It rotates, I think, not even 90 degrees. Okay, when it's all the way counterclockwise, like I'm holding it now, the drive is in re reverse, okay? That's reverse. This is neutral, this is forward. That's all it does. I'm gonna repeat, forward, neutral, reverse. If I had to show you again from the side, it's kind of, this thing is automatically falling down to forward, which is part of the reason I'm making this video. So we got forward, neutral, reverse, there it stops. That's how little it moves to change gears on these lower units. Now, let me go and see where I have an upper unit. This is a Bravo, I think. But for all intents and purposes, you guys have that little arm that's stuck in the upper unit. It's a little difficult to explain. I probably should have gotten an upper over here. But let me get this out of the way. The arm that's in the upper, I will show you one in a second. Here we go. I have one right here. I never promised that this video would be perfect. You just got to deal with it. They sit and complain about my shaky camera, then take your boat to a shop and stop trying to help me save you money. This is the intermediate shift, right? This little guy, see the little mouth at the bottom of it over here? There, it's got the same shape as these little teeth over here. So I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what I was doing on the lower unit with the upper. This is forward, okay? forward in line neutral reverse this doesn't have slots it can go in any direction it's just a loose intermediate arm okay it, it it's almost like a, a little joint in between the lower and the housing and I'll, I'll show you the housing now so you can understand this is the foot now the reason the the control has to be in forward to get the drive off is because of this shoe fits into a shape that's the shape it fits into this little slot over there okay now once again i'm going to do the same thing over here you see how this shoe is facing forward look at the arm it's kind of sticking out that's forward i'll try and give you some perspective here from the top that's forward that's neutral that's reverse and this arm is rigid. So when you move this arm at the top here, it slides in that little plastic thing that's attached to the cable. If you're in forward over here, look at the slot. You see how it's in line with the whole drive? This is like the female section. If you get offended, then you need therapy and prayer, right? This is the male section. It slides into that groove right now you can imagine if this thing's in neutral or reverse there's no way you'll slide it out because it's it's being held on by that that the upper section over here right 
you can't slide something out of here if it's angled like this neutral or angled like even more like that which is reverse it has to be in forward for you to undo these bolts and get the whole drive off okay i hope you're starting to understand how this works now what happens is if you don't take the whole drive off if you only take off the lower unit right it doesn't matter what position this thing is in it can be in reverse it can be in neutral or in forward because you're not taking the upper off you're just draining the lube you want to do a water pump job and this is staying on the boat for all intents and purposes so let's just say this was in neutral right look there look at the position see it's at 90 degrees the foot's at a bit of an angle where is it it's not straight there's straight you can see it's at a bit of an angle that's neutral and when you took it off this little shoe that interfaces with that slot forward neutral would have been at a, like almost a 45 degree would have been in this position and this little guy over here instead of being all the way forward it's hard to do it would have been rotated a little back in neutral now you take this off do your water pump you line the tube up everything goes in right you don't get stuck like a lot of guys do you put it back in the boat now you got a situation the controls in neutral but the gear is in forward or reverse why because each of these slots can allow you to have the lower unit in forward yet go in with the control in neutral and that's the problem with this symmetrical design for mercury if they had some weird offset tooth on here this would only go on one way but they didn't do it that way they made it so that you can put this in incorrectly and a lot of people struggle with this for days on end because no one's explained the concept now how do you know what's going on okay well i'm going to give you a tip first tip is these units generally like to be in a certain position some of them like to just always be in freaking neutral no matter what you do they're always going to be in neutral right so then what you do is you make sure your control is in neutral so that both are in neutral you've got to have the control in neutral and the lower unit in neutral this one is continuously rolling forward because it's at an angle the gear is going to slide down and it's always going into forward gear so you'll know that when you're like holding this and you just look i'm going to rotate it to reverse and i'm going to let go see there it's spun it's now stuck all the way clockwise it's in forward i if i have a drive that's always liking forward or it's always liking reverse or it's always liking neutral it's going to be one of those three you put your control in where this thing is always going to be at when you're jostling it around all right that's like that's the easy way to do it now to confuse you a little more if you put the prop on here you can hold this thing in position with a bungee cord uh, so let's say you're just adamant that you're putting this thing in reverse for whatever reason this is going to be like that this is going to be at the worst angle you will never get the upper unit off this part is never going to come off unless this thing is in forward which is the arm sticking out backwards like this see there it's lined up it's in line with the studs that you're removing the unit from okay let's just say you're adamant and you you just you just have to put this thing into reverse because you're stubborn and type a and you've got soft hands right now let's just say this thing doesn't like to be in reverse like it like this one here it's always favoring forward what you can do is rotate this all the way counterclockwise and to verify it's in reverse rotate the shaft clockwise from the top this seat this one seized rotate it in this direction and make sure the blade is rotating backwards like this now because the blade's rotating counterclockwise it's being pushed by the teeth in the gears so you want to wrap the bungee cord around the port side blade and pull it towards me the camera that's gonna keep the blade because the problem is when the blade gets bumped or rolled you'll lose your gear 
So once again, to install this unit with a bungee cord method, put the prop on, it doesn't need the nut. Rotate this all the way counterclockwise until the, ro rotate the prop counterclockwise until it's locked. I think I made a mistake there. For reverse, this will lock in. I'm having, ow, damn it. I'm having a total brain, brain freaking frame here. Give me a moment. This is gonna, the, you're gonna pull the prop. I was in forward in my mind. Okay, I'm gonna edit that out. Let's just say you're adamant to install this thing in reverse, right? For this thing to get locked in reverse, you're gonna have to spin this all the way counterclockwise. And this is gonna, the prop's gonna wanna rotate backwards for reverse. But for in order for that to lock, you're gonna have to pull it against its rotation in the shaft. So forget about trying to understand it. If you're trying to lock this unit in reverse using the prop me method, have it all the way in reverse, rotate this clockwise and make sure the prop's spinning in this direction, which is reverse, right? Then what you wanna do is you wanna wrap a bungee cord and lightly pull it in the opposite direction that the propeller is spinning. That's gonna just hold the, um, the gear in position, right? And the reason I'm saying a bungee cord is because it just has a bit of light elastic tension and it keeps it in gear. If you don't have the bungee cord on and you just do this to the shaft, you just touch it, then this is gonna roll out of gear and go wherever it wants to go. The same applies for forward. If you're trying to lock this thing in forward, turn this all the way forward, and then you'll have the bungee cord on, on this side trying to pull the prop counterclockwise. Lightly pulling it the opposite way it wants to rotate. Now, if you're working on a counter-rotating unit, everything is reversed. It is a little complicating, but what it does is it allows you to force this lower unit. Now, that's complicated and it's tricky. If it was me, and you don't understand what I just said for the last three minutes, figure out where this drive wants to be. In this case, it's forward. Put the control in forward, which is there, and install it. And that will guarantee that your shifter, which is in forward, and the lower unit, which is in forward, is going to be how it goes. A lot of people have the control in neutral and this in forward, and it'll go in. But then when you go to shift forward, you're going to be in neutral. You're going to be a gear out. And that's the problem. That's the reason I made this video. So I hope that helps you guys. And thanks for watching.